Good evening and welcome to Rookie Sports Bar and Grill, another episode of My My Thing Thing Is This. I got soul, Kevin. That's why I came, to teach those who don't know my name. I'm not bold, and I'm never going to get old. I'm going to do this till I'm 100 years old. I am the one and only Raymond Bennett, and to me is my main man, Kevin Kevin Dixon. Dixon. Woo! Kevin, let me tell you something. Oh, what a night last night in the NBA. It was must-see TV, Kevin. Tinseltown. Woo! The Los Angeles Lakers play the Utah Jazz. And Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant threw in 60 points. 6-0. They say you're never good until you're dead or you're gone. Kobe, all I got to do is say so long. And if you can't respect him, then you're whack. Kobe's gone, so all we could do is fade to black. Kevin, your take on Kobe Bryant. Yo, last night was epic game. I mean, an epic game for Kobe to go out and do what he done. Messed up shoulder, knees bad, ankles bad, the whole nine yard. He did his thing. You know, the funny thing about it is, Ray, is that Shaq said, yo, you want to impress me, score 50. He scored 60. Further on down the coast last night, history was being made once again. Those Golden State Warriors, 73 wins, breaking the Chicago Bulls record of 72. And Stephon Curry and those guys did an amazing job. We're going to see what's going to happen to them in the playoffs. What do you think about what's going to happen when the playoffs come around? Well, I'll tell you what, Ray. Um, the, the the moon is lined up. The stars is right. Golden State should they should win it all. But uh, the, the, the score the, to um, have 73 wins is an achievement in itself. And um, I'm just looking to see what's going to happen in the playoffs. I'm, I'm, I'm real excited about this playoffs. The NBA did a great job on Friday with that. Um it Kobe, I mean, it couldn't have been no better. Storybook ending at the end of the season. L- let me say this real quickly. I want to salute a couple of people. I want to <clears throat> salute the Brickershaw Ferguson. Ten years in the game. Uh, 14 quarterbacks in 10 years. Only missed one snap. He's retiring. Better human being than he is a player. I salute the De- De- Brickershaw Ferguson for his excellence in playing with the New York Jets over the last 10 years. And I agree with you, Ray. You know, if I was a young kid watching football, he would be my idol. You know, just he missed one game because of a because of a special team play that he didn't play. So I love that about him. Also, I like to salute Dwight Howard. Now, I'm not really a big Dwight Howard fan for some of the stuff that he does on and off the court, but him leading uh, a, a push for donations, <coughs> for a blood drive for Craig Sager, that's a beautiful thing, and I got to salute Dwight Howard. And if anybody don't know who Craig Craig Sager is. If you watch TNT, he is the guy that always wears the loud suits and does the interviews at the end of the quarter or the beginning of the quarter. So, Mr. Sager, we, uh, we, we, are, we are praying for you, uh, speedy recovery, and he's a good dude. So, if you, don't get, if you get an opportunity, check him out. <coughs> get money. Uh, get money. Chang, Let me chang, say, chang, chang. Uh, listen, Kobe made $1.2 million worth of merchandise last night. He was getting that money for the Los Angeles Lakers at the Staples Center. He gets that money. Also, get money, get money. The NBA owners are passing, are going to pass a rule that's going to allow you to put a sticker like Wonder Bread or Bob Auto Parts on your on your on your on their jersey so they can get more money. They can't stop making that money, Kevin. You know, Ray, when they say it ain't about the money, it is about the money. Real quick, access denied. Access denied has been granted to Josh Gordon. Gordon playing once. I don't know who is he playing for. They said he Cleveland Browns. I don't know who's playing for the Browns these days. Uh, he was suspended for <laughs> for uh, failing a, a drug test. Um, Gordon has bigger issues than, than playing football. But also, to Gordon's defense, his, his agent, Drew Rosenfeld, is very upset with the NFL for the mere fact that his test results were leaked by the NFL, and there's going to be a serious problem there with the union and the NFL. Your take? I think it's some trickery going on right there because um, from my sources, I was told that if he passed his drug test, they weren't even going to bring him into the clubhouse. They was trading him straight to the 49ers for some draft picks this year. So I think a little trickery going on there with Josh Howard. I mean, Josh Gordon. So, you know, it is what it is, Ray. What you got? What, what couple of quick takes that you got for me? Uh, all jokes aside. All jokes aside. Kobe Bryant shot the ball 50 times last night. 50, 5 0. So it was real easy for him to get 60 points. All jokes aside, Ray. Yeah, he was doing his thing last night. What else you got? All jokes aside, also, Ray, Stephon Curry has shot in 
403, excuse me, he has made 403 three-pointers, and he's made 402 two-pointers. Yo, his arm has to be hurting. His arm's got to be hurting, Ray. But, you know, he got the playoffs coming through, so he's. I think he should be ready. What else you got, Kev? What else I got, Ray, is who cares? Who cares that Lin Swan is the AD at USC, so I guess his politic career wasn't his thing. I, I'm just shocked. When did all this happen? Where was I? Because AD, Pat Hayden's out, and Lin Swan is in. Lin Swan's in. What else you got, Kev? Hit me. Well, I'm going to put you like this, Ray. The Los Angeles Rams, this they did something last night, and they said they didn't want to spoil Kobe Bryant night, so they announced it this morning that they traded for the number one draft choice with the Tennessee Titans. And I, let me just read down what Tennessee got back. They sold the farm, the pigs, the cows, everything on the farm. But this is what the Rams gave them for the number one draft pick. The first round, which is in the 15th overall. The second round, which is the 43rd on the 45th. Third round, 76, in next year's first and third round in 2017 for the number one draft pick. My question to you, Ray, is the quarterback is out there right now. I don't see them being a franchise quarterback. But do you really need a franchise quarterback now or you just need somebody to manage the game? Because in their division, they have won. They were 4-2, and two, and they beat um, Seattle, who won the division. You know, I'm screaming they won the wild card. And they played the Cardinals tight. So I guess they're figuring that's the only key missing is the quarterback. Yeah, that's that's going to be real interesting. I, I think they, they, they think that they have to make a big splash. They're probably going to take the kid from uh, Cal, out there in California and make a real big splash. So we'll, we'll see how that develops. If I was if I was them, I would pick him because he's 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 like six he's like six four. I mean, I'm, scar- I'm sorry, six five, six eight, something like that. He's a really tall quarterback. So basically, he's a tall quarterback and you look over the line. Um, some were saying take the guy Wentz. I don't know about that, but I think um, the guy from the guy from California is the guy that they should get that they're looking to go for. Okay, what else you got for me, Kevin? Hit me, hit me. <sighs> well, Ray, I'll wait. Okay. I'll wait to see who the Knicks hire as the next coach. It's going to be Kurt Rambis, Bill Cartwright, Scotty Pittman, Brian Shaw. Heck, anybody running a uh, triangle offense, Ray, could be the coach because that's what you want. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really impressed with Phil. Phil's turned out to be fool's goal. Well, you know, this is the thing right now. Is the rumor is that he was supposed to be – trying to get out his contract, but I don't see him getting out of the contract because he wants that money to go back out to L.A. Um, and become a head coach. But I, we know he's not coaching no more. He's not tr- doing no traveling at all. He wants to be, he wants to be the GM. Um, has he proven a, that he's been a good GM in New York? No, he hasn't because I think he's using this as an experiment with the Knicks, and that's not fair. That's not fair to the Knicks. That's not fair to the fans. It's not fair to the NBA that he's doing what he's doing with the Knicks. I, I think this is unjust. Okay. What else you got for me, Kevin? Hit me. Oh, Ray. Where they do that at? Do what? John Wall cursed out his head coach, Randy Whitman, and now he's fired. So, Ray, my thing is now the players can curse the coach out? It's a it's a new era. And, and, yeah, is, it, it's a new. Uh, a little kid tried to curse me out today, and um, I gave it to him. I don't play with kids. <laughs> That's my motto. I don't play with kids. Really, Ray? Well, let me see here. Why? Why what, Kevin? Why what? Why do major league managers will not allow the pitcher to pitch nine innings no more? A, a, a complete game. Man, let's look at this for real, Ray. Back in the day, they was pitching nine innings and maybe come back and play a doubleheader and pitch maybe two or three innings. Now it's all about the analytics of baseball. So, Ray, I'm, I'm, help me understand this thing. You up one to nothing. You go in the seventh inning. You bring in your bullpen. He gives up a home run. Then you go to another pitcher. He gives up a home run. 
then you're down, and if anything, you lose the game. So, Ray, help me out here. I don't even watch baseball no more. I, I watch it when it's uh, World Series. It's too long, and it's, it's really gotten boring. And I love baseball. I just can't. I can't. I, I just can't. Well, you know, right now. I'll be falling asleep. <laughs> well, you know. It's right still pitching? <laughs> <laughs> my, my bad. Sorry. Well, you know, um, right now they're talking about putting a time limit on the game because they're saying four hours is a little bit too long in the MLB game innings. And I've been to a couple games, and it's been it's been a sleeper. Orioles, I've, I've nodded off here or there. So I don't know if putting a time limit on the game is going to be a good thing or not, but they need to do something about that also, right? I got one for you, Kevin, before you jump into another. Life is good. Life is good for Bobby Pertino. Pertino just Pertino just got $30 million from Louisville. Remember Pertino? He, was, uh, he left Louisville to coach – Atlanta Falcons, in the middle of the season, he says, I'm going to stay here forever. This is where I, I'm going to Arkansas. The season's like, I'm in Arkansas. And while he's in Arkansas, gets involved in a little scandal. You know, He's fired. Goes back to Louisville, who hires him. And now he's gotten a $30 million contract. Woo! Life is good. But, Ray, this is the same guy that said that Players shouldn't get paid. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not going to get paid if they're giving him all that loot. Mm, yeah, yeah, he's he's that guy. What else you got for me, Kevin? Hit me. Well, Ray, what else I got for you? Let's talk about uh, free agency coming up in the NBA. Real quick. Who's the top guy? LeBron, Kevin Garnett. I mean, Kevin Durant, Garnett. He ain't playing no more. <laughs> He's done. Okay, so let's say we let's let's take let's take LeBron off the board. Okay. And let's go with Kevin Garnett. I mean right. Kevin Kevin Durant. Um rumors here I rumors I'm hearing, well my sources told me that uh, he's looking to get a one year deal and then once Westbrook becomes a free agent, they both gonna go pack their bags and go to LA. But you know, there's always a but. They saying that the um, coach, that coach in Brooks, mm -hmm. might be getting a job in the NBA, and they're saying he might be going to Sacramento Kings. So I don't see him going to the Sacramento Kings, but I could see maybe him and him and um, Westbrook maybe going to LA. Wow, hey, that that that's some news for you. Here's a little bit of news. I'm watching TV the other night, last night, and I'm watching Donald Trump. Trump's in Pittsburgh. He gets up and says, hey, how y'all doing, Pittsburgh? And that's my friend, Joe Paterno. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Joe Paterno? <laughs> Nobody told him. <laughs> Paterno's, he's, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Well, I, Ray, I guess when you live in Las Vegas, there's a lot of information that you don't receive. Oh, but if it's by a slow mail or coach, it should have got to him by now. <laughs> hey, have you seen Joe Paterno? Yeah, I did. He's in the grave. Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna wrap it up on this, man. And this is this is this is funny to me, but it, it's not, and it's gonna offend some some people. It's called "Don't Do That Again." You know when you were a child, they said, don't do that again. Don't do it again. Sprint has a commercial where a white woman says, hey, I, I don't like T-Mobile. That's ghetto. <laughs> Whoa. Really? <laughs> so um, it didn't go over well. It didn't go over well. It's not, not good. I'm the one only, Raymond Bennett. And I'm Kevin Dixon. Another episode of My Thing Is This. And we're on location at Rookie, Rookie Sports, Sports Bar and, and Grill. Grill. Also, check us out. I'm on on Tuesday nights, 8 o'clock. I'm on Monday nights, 730 to 9.30. Talk to me sports radio. Talk to me sports radio network and Rebel One Radio. Hit me on Twitter. KLD, talk to me.